So margarita pizza is by far the most popular pizza in the world, it's gotta be. Super easy to make, three main ingredients, basil, mozzarella, and of course some great homemade tomato sauce. So I have my pizza dough kind of shaped here. I love kind of rustic, just misshaped pizza doughs. They're like clouds. They all have different shapes to me. I always kind of decide what they look like. This is like the head of a bear, I don't know why, but they always look more homemade that way. So I always start with just a little bit of olive oil right on the bottom, and this just builds a really great crust. All right, and I'm just gonna kind of rub that through all the way to the end. Get a little bit sloppy with this. You don't wanna just kind of miss a spot. Every inch counts here. Awesome. Then from up high, some kosher salt. Perfect. And then this is really, really important. You know, especially in America, we tend to overdress our pizzas. And in Italy, it's kind of like a salad, right? You've had really soggy salads. You can have a really soggy pizza too. So you just want enough of that sauce to kind of kiss the pizza, just kind of evenly go throughout, right? It's not so much about the sauce. I mean, you work so hard on that dough. It's a little bit more about the dough and what's on top of it. So some really good buffalo mozzarella. I just like to tear it. Again, we love cheese, but just kind of use it sparingly. Dot that around. Awesome, every inch. What you want to think of is that every bite you have a little bit of everything. All right, some basil, big ones I like to tear up and just kind of let them fall where they will. The small ones leave whole. Looks absolutely gorgeous, just tear it right off. This is not the time to bust out the dry basil, by the way, you have to use fresh basil for this. And the reason why everyone loves this in Italy and they're so proud of it is look at the colors. You've got the red, the green, and the white. What does that remind you of? The Italian flag. Genius, okay. I always build it on a piece of parchment like this because that way I don't have to worry about it sticking to the counter. No, you know, cornmeal, no extra flour. I like it just the way it is. I take my pizza peel, slides right on, and before I take it to the oven, just a drizzle of olive oil. And my oven's at 500 degrees. It's as high as it goes. I have a pizza stone that's been in there the entire, maybe an hour, two hours, a long, long time. So I'm just gonna open that up slide it in on the paper and let that pizza do its thing. All right, so oven's been on full whack. It's been about seven minutes. I'm gonna check my pizza. Oh yeah, beautiful. You can tell by underneath, that's what you're looking for, that nice golden crust. So you can see the paper didn't burn, it just kind of browned a little bit. I just kind of hold it with my thumb and let the pizza kind of just fall off. And then while it's hot, this is my favorite moment. It's finishing up this margarita. So I'm just gonna paint with really good olive oil around the outside just to give it this nice sheen, all right? And then, you know, we don't have brick oven pizza ovens in our home, so I have a little smoked salt, which is really nice around the end. It kind of makes the whole thing smell a little bit more authentic. And then you cannot serve a pizza without a little bit of that salty, creamy Parmesan Reggiano right over the top. Look at that. Just kind of let it fall over. Not too much, just enough. And if you like margarita pizza, nothing will beat that.